Happy Tuesday morning. We are on day three. So day is chapter three of the book of Luke. Here we go. Luke chapter three. John the Baptist prepares the way. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod, tetrarch of, Cal of Galilee, his brother Philip, tetrarch of Uteria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, uh, tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Cephas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. John said to the crowds coming out to baptize, be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that out of these stones God can raise up children from Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What should we do then? The crowd asked. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with one who has none, and anyone who has food should do the same. Even tax collectors came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, he told them. Then some soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He replied, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. The people were waiting expectantly and were all wondering in their hearts if John might possibly be the Messiah. John answered them all, I baptize you with water, but one who is more power powerful than I will come the straps of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And with many words, John extorted the people and proclaimed the good news to them. But when John rebuked Herod the Tetrarch because of his marriage to Herodias, his brother's wife, and all the other evil things he had done, Herod added this, to the, added this to them all. He locked John up in his prison. The Baptism and Genealogy of Jesus When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. As he was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you, I, with you, I am well pleased. Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. He was the son, so it was thought, of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mahat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Jeni, the son of Joseph, the son of Matthias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, the son of Nagai, the son of Math, the son of Matthias, the son of Simeon, the son of Joseph, the son of Jodah, the son of Jonanna, the son of Reus, the son of Zebrola, the son of Shetel, the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adai, the son of Kasim, the son of Eldam, the son of Ur, the son of Joseph, the son of El Elizer, the son of Joram, the son of Mahat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonam, the son of Elikim, the son of Melea, the son of Mena, the son of Mathala, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Solomon, the son of Nashon, the son of Abedin, the son of Ram, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahar, the son of Sirug, the son of Ru, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shalah, the son of Canaan, the son of Aphrext, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, 
the son of Jared, the son of Mahalah, the son of Kenan, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. That is the genealogy of our Lord and Savior. And that's a, that's a long genealogy. Hey, like I, say, I always say, keep your eyes on the cross. I'm pulling for you. Remember, we're all in this together. And if you're watching this on YouTube, and I've got to say it in the last two videos, but if you're watching this on YouTube, um, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Amen. Have a wonderful day.